we have two charts, okay? So let's go over and go over the exact entries. This is the S&P. Um, we went over this yesterday, but I want to record this uh, for you guys to show you how we can use um, our SIM scalper to enter trades. Hey, Larry, good morning. Hey, Steve, good morning. Mulu, hey, Vincat, good morning. So what we have is we have our left chart in our live room. This will be our trend chart. So this is going to tell us what the trend is in the market. All right, so this is our zone trend. So you want to make sure you understand what the trend is before you even start trading for the session on any given market. So that's number one. Number one, what is the underlying trend? Are we in an uptrend or downtrend? Remember, the market markets can only do two things. They can go vertical or they can go sideways. So we need to know if they're going to go to vertical, then what side of the market do we need to be on? So the zone trend is in the live room, is off of our 12020. And it's categorized by these parallel dots. Now these dots have been tested for the last 30 years as being the overall trend filter we use in the room. So if the dots are red, then we're going to look to sell this chart to the right, which is our smaller Rinko. This is our entry chart that's in the live room, or this is the sim scalper so we're going to first find the trend first okay so that's number one what is the trend well, number one find trend okay so once you find the trend if the dots are red and they're parallel red we're going to look for cells over on our next smaller Renko chart So this will be your entry chart. So this entry chart, hey Brian, good morning. Our entry chart is in the live room. Hey Derek, good morning. So this is our entry. Now our entry chart you want to go with the overall trend of our zone trend filter. So if our trend filter is down, you want to find the trend. If zone is down, if it's red, then what we want to do is only look for cells on this chart. If this zone is green, then we only look for buys on this chart. Now the entry chart there's three things that are important on this entry chart. So this chart over here is our 1-1 one, one, or 1 20, 20. This is to find the overall trend in the market. And our entry chart is a 1-1-20. One, one, So what's the difference in the charts? The difference being this is going to find the overall trend if we're going to be net sellers or net buyers. So if we find a trend, we log in, and we notice that our trend filter is red, then what we want to do over here on our entry chart is only take cells. We'll only look for cells. Now, there's two, actually three parts to this on the entry chart. Very simply, what we're going to do is we're going to look for what's called a liquidity grab. And a zone break combo. Now what that is, a liquidity grab, if you notice when these bars turn green to red, 
So if we find the trend on the 12020 and the zones are red, then our entry chart, we want to make sure that we are red over here on our entry chart. It needs to match up. If we're red over here on our zone is red, then we need our entry chart to be red. All right, we don't want to be trading these green spikes in the market. These are counter trend traders against the overall trend. So when this market spiked at 945 yesterday, this little spike at this level, these green reversal bars right there, that is a counter move in the market, meaning counter trend traders are getting caught in the market at that level. We do not want to trade the counter trend. We do not want to counter the market overall. Okay. I'll show you with the oscillator below if you want to do it in a stronger weak market. We'll go over that in a second. So the easiest way to, to find trades in the market then is first to find the zone trend. If it's red off of our 120.20 off the ES, then we're going to be net sellers. We're going to look to sell this chart. The first thing we do is we try to find a liquidity grab. What a liquidity grab is, and I'll go over market structure in a second, what these dots mean. But what a liquidity grab is, that's where the market, the, you want the candles to turn back red. That's when the market, you see these little blips or these um, retracements on this chart. These are liquidity grabs. What the market's doing is they're retracing price to capture all the counter trend traders, they are stop hunting. So the smart money is stop hunting at these levels. These little price flips, little price flips. They're stop hunting the counter trend traders in the market so they can resume overall trend. So that's what's called a liquidity grab. The definition of a liquidity grab here in summation they are stop hunts. If we are, or if you, if the, if if you're a big institution, or your bank, or your hedge fund, or your prop firm, or you're doing larger contracts, you just can't short 50, 100, 200, 300, 500 thousand contracts all at once. The market would not be orderly, and they would not get good fills. So what the market is designed to do is designed to take retracements in the market against trend, they're going to grab liquidity on these pullbacks, which are stop hunts, and they're going to continue the trend in that direction. Now, you don't know it's a liquidity grab until it closes, because what happens when this candle is ticking, intra-candle is ticking, it's retracing, this candle is ticking, it's retracing, it will be green, but if it's green and then it closes right back red, you just confirmed that the smart money grabbed liquidity. So if you know your zone trend is red over here on your 120 right next to you and you're trending down, then what we can do is we can wait until this chart agrees and it's also trending down our 1120. We can wait until the market grabs liquidity and then immediately following we can look for what's called a zone break. What a zone break? A zone break is a yellow candle that automatically comes up immediately after this yellow candle is your entry signal. So you want to see the entry signal when the yellow candle fires. But it must immediately file, follow a liquidity grab. After the LG. So what you have then is you have a retracement, they grab liquidity, 
that confirms by closing red and going right back to a yellow candle. That just that combination is what's called a LGZB. That's a liquidity grab zone break combo. That's what you're going to look to sell. That's your entry technique. Liquidity grab ZB combo. So the market continues to move lower. They grab liquidity here. They grab liquidity here. Liquidity grab, liquidity grab, liquidity grab. Then they get a big liquidity grab right into the ZB combo again. Now the first one started at 35 and got as low as 22 for a nice big move. The second LG ZB combo started at 28 and got as low as 22, three quarters. So that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to, to make it simple. You're trying to find the trend first with our zone, our trend filter that's been tested for the last 30 years as the trend of the market on the ES. Then we're going to look for this market, our, our entry chart. So this is a 12020. This is our entry chart, so 1120. We're going to look for a liquidity grab retracement and an LGZB combo to pull into the market. Now, what you can do is, is you can find out when these markets are going to, are strengthening or weakening what's called market structure. To get a little bit more in depth about market structure are these dots. If you noticed, when we closed below after the market counter trend traded itself to the upside, we closed right back below these what's called market structure dots. Once you get two closes below these dots, market structure is down. Now, you don't really need to know this, but it does help you out significantly when trades are about ready to fire and if we're in a hard trend or downtrend. I'll show you yesterday this afternoon I called a couple trades out before they happened with traders in the room. I'll show you in a second. I said market structure is breaking down. How did I know that? These dots are the reason these yellow candles fire. So with that the algorithm does, these yellow dots are market structure, yellow candles. Zone breaks are where the market is breaking into a territory of a possible new low or new high or it's breaking some market structure, the past support or resistance, meaning it's broken market structure. So here broke these dots, close below it. Now these red dots become resistance. So as long as these red dots start, keep printing and I never close above these red dots again by two candle closes, these red dots, market structure is hard down. So when you get a liquidity grab and you see it come through these dots but never close above it and come right back through it and get a LGZB combo, you know market structure is hard down and it's falling it should follow through hard to the downside. So I'll show you in a second how we how we can gauge market structure as far as that goes. But to make it simple, you want to stick with zone trend over here. Zone trend is key. Zone trend is key off the 120. And you wait for the LGZB combos to fire together. Now what you can do is you can also use this chart over here on the 120 to find out when these come together with momentum. So that's one way to do it. You find the trend, you look for LGZB combos in the direction of trend. Very simple. Look for liquidity grab, this yellow zone break, that means market structure is being broken in the past. There's your entry. The stop on this chart on a 1120 is 15 ticks maximum stop. Stop is a 15 tick maximum stop. 
Now you can use Chart Trader. You can come in and use Chart Trader, and what you can do is you can come in and you can use whatever stop you want to stop use. So if you're doing four contracts, you can put your stop loss on this chart. We'll say it 15, 15, 15, 15. Now you can put as many contracts as you want. If you want to do two contracts, just remove it down. But then what you can do is you can also do a stop strategy. You can come in and after a certain point, it will trigger and it will automatically start trailing for you automatically. Your stop loss is 15, your profit trigger is 8, and your frequency, let's say 1 or 5, you can put it 5, whatever frequency you want. What that means, every so many ticks that it goes, let's say you put 5 ticks, every 5 tick move, it's going to increase your stop loss. So it can trail for you, okay? So that can trail. All right, so you can use that chart trader. You can use chart trader to fire in these trades with an automated stop. So when you enter that order, let's say at this yellow candle, then your stops automatically put in, your targets automatically put in, and it automatically trails for you. All right, I'll start posting some of those in the room when we have trade setups. But this entry chart on the 1120, your stop is a maximum 15, 15 max stop. Okay, you can put a 15 max stop on there. You look for the LGZB combos. Now you can also use this chart over here to find what's called V top V bottoms. What that is, you see these yellow candles that form. If my zone trend is down, it's red, and I get these little hammer reversals like this. See the little hammer. You only don't want to go a trend. After the hammer, if you count, starting after the hammer, that means there's an equal close, looks like a doji. One, two, three. If you get a reversal candle, a yellow candle that fires within three candles of that hammer, you have what's called V-tops, V-bottoms. So you can enter these trades. That's called a V-top with overall trend. That's what this chart's good for. And then also you have these other yellow candles that fire off. When these yellow candles fire off, these are momentum candles or zone break candles of momentum. And when these fire off, if you get a liquidity grab on this chart where you get a deep liquidity grab and it closes right back red, these typically follow through really nice. So you can use this 120 chart to find momentum in the market when they're grabbing liquidity. So those are additional setups you can do on top of the liquidity grab ZB combo. If you're new to the trading room and you want to start off with a bang, I would look at zone trend first and take ZB combos with this zone trend off the 120. Now we do have an oscillator below here on the 120 that shows when the market's weak or strong. If it is pegged at negative 123.81, it's a super weak market. These are really, really good trades. When these yellow dots fire, our yellow candles, zone breaks fire, and we are pegged at negative 123.81, these typically will follow through nice. This is 34 and a half, got a lowest 23, fell 12 S&P points. When this oscillator is pegged at 123 negative or positive 123.81. Let's go back to this chart on market structure again. I'll show you a trade I called out yesterday before it happened. 
The market was in a hard downtrend. This is 1.30 in the afternoon. I was talking with traders in the room. So you can see the market was in a hard downtrend. We were red zone, right? Red zone all day. Red zone all day. So I said market structure, it closed above these red dots. So market structure started to get stronger because it closed above these dots. We don't want to take green candles because the zone trend is red. And I told traders in the room, if this breaks, Back below this 04 and a half level, the market structure will be going down. The market should resume its downtrend short. And I posted that in the live in the room at this level. So when the market was ticking, it's counter trend trading. Here, I said if this closes back below 08 by two closes, one, two, look for the first zone break. First liquidity grab zone break combo, and that should start a big sell-off. We close back below my dots, and then we start, market structure starts rolling over. Now, as long as we don't close above these red dots, market structure is in line with my red zones over here. Market starts moving down. We get a liquidity grab. We get a ZB entry. The entry was 98 and a half. No one that comes down tries to get a liquidity grab after the, after the zone break entry, entry, or you still got a runner here. But look how it went intra bar and came right back down. Liquidity still, I mean, uh, market structure still down. New dots formed. It came up and touched it, rolled right back over. Market structure still down came back below, retested, market structure still down, came down, liquidity grab, market structure still down, so you still want to take zone breaks, another zone break comes up. This is the last one before market structure starts getting stronger, this is 80 and a quarter, got as low as 76. So what you can do is not only do you want to stick with zone trend over here, you can see the market structure with these, these dots. These dots are the reason these zone yellow entry bars come up. So when you see that I am saying market structure is getting stronger, I'm talking about this entry chart. Our market structures buy now you want to line up market structure with this overall zone break. I mean, these zones. Now, do you need to know market structure? No, but it gives you a big heads up, these dots, of if you're in a, if you're in a hard downturn or uptrend or when, when the market's counter trend trading itself. Basically, you just want to look for zone break. I mean, liquidity grab, zone break combos to enter with zone trend. You want to look for B, V bottom, V tops on this chart within three candles with zone trend. If you're going to use, if you're going to take trades like this, these are the best trades you're going to get on momentum. Because when your oscillator is paid at negative 123.81 or positive, and these candles fire, they should match up with zone trend. So at 358, at 1358, 1358 is exactly on this candle. So these candles matched up. This candle of the zone break with market structure down is exactly the same candle that fired here when the market was in a negative 123.81. So my point is when we're at negative 123.81, and you see a liquidity grab, you better jump on it because that is the highest probability trade. If you're at negative 123.81 and you see a liquidity grab zone break, that's the best one because you're in the hardest part of the market in a downtrend. So a way to do it is if you see that we're at negative 123.81 and we're pegged down here, this oscillator, 
Watch for structure to be breaking down, meaning we're red candles over here, and look for zone break, I mean liquidity grab zone break combos. Those are the best ones because that's going to match up with these guys right here. It's going to match up when we're in a hard uptrend or downtrend. All right, so in summation, we want to do that. Now the GDP is being released here. We're going to watch for them this morning. We're going to watch for zone trend. We're going to watch for zone trend and ZB combos. So right now the market structure is up. So we're up right now, right? But the zone trend over here is currently down. So what we're going to do is we're not matching up yet. We're going to wait, and we're going to wait for market structure and zone trend to line up. All right? So right now, if we get a trend change, if we possibly get a trend change here, if these zones turn green, then we're going to look for the next buy sub. Our zones just turn green. Now we're going to look for the next buy setup with a liquidity grab. We want to see market grab liquidity here. Deep pullback. Come back up. Close green as long as we stay green in this market. Now the best ones are going to be this. You see how this oscillator is not pegged at 123.81? That means the market's not strong yet. We're still oscillating back around, digesting the news. Once we close back, once we close back green, I mean, once we close back 123.81 in our peg, then we're going to look for a Z, we're going to look for liquidity grab, ZB combo. Now, we're, the market's trying to find its direction. News just came out. You don't want to trade right at 8.30. It's 8.32. You want to wait to three minutes, four minutes after news, let it digest, and then we're going to go right to work. But we're going to, we're going to gauge our, our strength upon our zone trend. Right now, if you see these dots that are above each other and below each other, there's no trend yet. It's going to find a trend here soon. It's going to be just green dots or red dots. And then it's going to be just like yesterday. Yesterday was all red all day long. See, it was red. The trend was red all day. So all we did was take liquidity grab zone break shorts all day we had no buys no buys all day from 4 p.m the previous day all the way to the close we had all shorts now today after the news it's undecided right now you have trend dots at the bottom and you have trend dots at the top we're not trending yet so it's chop so we're going to wait until we find our trend once our trend starts Once it starts like this, once it starts trending and going parallel, we're going to look for sell setups or buy setups. So we're going to wait till this morning. We're going to wait until our trend is on one side of the market. Right now it's on both sides. Our trend dots are on both sides. That means this is chop. It keeps you out of the market. That means it's going to be chop. We're going to wait until this lines up. And then we're going to get into the market, and we're going to start taking setups. Okay? So you can see we're still in shop right now. Wait for the trend dots. This market should start getting out of this range. It just opened up a new. It's a little slow today because we had a hard trend down yesterday. But once we're out of that, we want to see trend. We want to see trend, trend like this. We want to see these parallel trend zone start trending and then we're going to wait and for these liquidity grab zone breaks we have none here so far this morning because we're chop we're going to wait for these guys to form and we're going to try to find a big liquidity grab with overall trend direction what we want to do like i said is we want to look for a big pullback in the market they'll be ticking red at the time close back green and get a combo happen this happened at 706 this morning we want to get a yellow zone break to enter this will be a hard 15 tick stop you can use chart trader to have depending on your contracts you want have your automated trail to trail your position so right now we don't have trend yet right there's no trend 
because our zone dots were going sideways. So what we're going to do is we're going to be patient and we're going to wait. You can see we're just chopping around, not doing anything. We're going to wait until we get in trend. When trend matches up, we're going to take trades just like this. When you get the yellow candle, that's a zone break that forms in the direction of this zone filter. Very, very simple to do, very easy to follow, very powerful indicator. Remember, market structure, you want to let it, if you want to use market structure to follow when trades are going to fire, it's simply, if the trend is down like yesterday, while we're waiting on this to find trend, if the trend was down all day yesterday, we only had shorts all day. No longs, right? Let me scan that down. We had shorts all day long. Zone trend was down. If zone trends down and you see the market closing above these structure dots, just wait till they close back below them. The easiest way to do is wait till the wait till these candles turn red again. Wait for the first liquidity grab to come in with the zone break combo. This yellow candle is your entry. 15 tick stop, and then we're looking for a move in that direction. Hey, Jason, good morning. That's the easiest way to pick this market apart. So what we'll do, like I said this morning, we're just going to wait. We're going to be patient. We're going to wait until trend is developing. Once trend develops, we're going to look to get in. Right? We're going to look to get in a trade like this where you get a big deep liquidity grab. Look how they grab liquidity really deep. Brought it back green. Yellow zone break. But we don't want to take this. This is 67's moved up to what 70 so far. We don't want to take this until our zone is trending. We want to see all green. No more red zones. Now what you can see is the market structure is up because these are the reason these fires. So structure is starting to go up. As long as we don't close below these structure dots, the structure is up. But you can see what the market does. The market does a deep pullback, deep pullback, and then that's a zone break, right? Zone break. Once you enter this level, when this yellow candle forms, you have a hard 15 tick stop. You don't need more than a 15 tick stop. Some traders use 12, 13, 14, which is fine. But that's your entry with overall trend direction. Now look what we got. We got trend direction here. You see how this green zone is all green? There's no red above us. We're starting to find direction. This liquidity grab with the zone break is getting us going in this direction now. Now we can look for what? We can look for trades in the direction of the zone trend. The zone trend is up. So we can look for pullback, V bottom pullbacks with the trend of the trend in the market. And we can look for liquidity grab zone breaks with the overall trend in the market. Because now we are now starting to trend. Look at our trend filter. Starting to trend and market structure is up, okay? So that's what we're going to do. So right now they're trying to grab liquidity. This is ticking red. But if it closes right back green, that means they just took all of these counters out of the market. But we don't know if it's a liquidity grab until this closes right back green again. Then you know you have liquidity grab. Then you'll wait for a yellow candle to fire right afterward, which is a zone break. Okay? That's how you trade with overall trend direction with the zones. Now what's neat is, like I said before I shut this off, is you get these candles like this with momentum with over 123.81 or negative, it helps you in the move also.